Hello, hello, this is Bale with Just One More Project back with another super simple basic tutorial. This tutorial is a um, really basic level tutorial. So if you haven't tried any of my tutorials yet, I would highly recommend to start with this one because it is super basic. So um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a blank uh, cloud macrame, just like this one over here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so I have Illustrator open in front of me. I am going to open up the ellipse tool and I'm going to start by making what looks like a cloud using circles. So I am going to start drawing the circle, <clears throat> but I'm going to hold down shift because I want it to be a per perfect circle. So let's just go with that. And then um, I can either copy and paste it using shortcuts or you could just draw another circle. It's up to you. Um, but I'm gonna copy and paste it. I'm gonna draw another one and I'm just gonna kind of resize it. Uh, there is no wrong way to make a cloud. <laughs> so um, just do whatever you'd like. Okay, so I'm gonna copy and paste it and do it again. Um, let's see. And when you're making a cloud, don't really worry about like what it looks like on the inside. Just look at the shapes around and see like where the the um, the little uh, folds of the cloud could be. So like I kind of like that. So that kind of makes the cloud go like this. Um, and let's add one more little one in there. Okay, so if you look at this now, you can see that, that kind of if you went around the outline of this, um, it looks kind of like a cloud. But now let's get the bottom of that filled. Um, so I'm actually gonna open or open the ellipse tool and draw another circle. And I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this to kind of maybe like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and get my selection tool, select all of it by dragging over all those circles, open up my pathfinder and hit unite. And now I've got this kind of interesting cloud, um, although I don't like the bottom of this. So let's go ahead and open up the uh, shapes tool and I'm gonna open the rounded rectangle tool and I'm gonna draw a rectangle right along the bottom just to a point where um, it looks like it can be like a nice straight edge on the bottom. So I'm gonna kinda go down to about there and highlight over both of them and then go over to your pathfinder panel and hit minus front right here. And now when you do that, you've got this little um, pretty cloud over here. And it's kind of got a straight edge on the bottom, which is what I was going for. But I don't really like this over here. So I am going to hit my direct selection tool and I'm going to look at the uh, anchor point over here. And I'm going to kind of move this over because I want to kind of flatten this out a little because it kind of didn't look very good to me. There we go. And you don't have to do that if you don't want to. That looks a little bit better to me. Okay, now um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to empty the fill on this because I wanna be able to see this. And let me increase this stroke so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now I've got this cloud, but clouds don't really have this like pointy crease <laughs> in the middle. So I kinda wanna round these creases. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit my direct selection tool. I'm gonna select the cloud and you can see that as I do, and you can see that as I do, I get this little circle right here on the point of that. So I am going to click on that circle and once I select it, you can see that it has this little like kind of rounded curve on the cursor right when I hover over that circle. So when I put, when I drag that in and out, it actually rounds that curve for me. So that's as much as that one can go. So let's go ahead and do this one too. You can see that one's nice and rounded and I wanna do the same thing with this one. So let's select it and you see I've got this and I can go way more or kinda of just do whatever I like and I kinda of like that, it makes it nice and smooth. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here and I'm gonna do the same thing over here. All right, okay. And there we go. Um, okay, now I wanna uh, put in the uh, knocked out piece on the inside, which is where you're going to wrap your cord. So 
let's go ahead and uh, open the rounded rectangle tool. And I'm just gonna draw a rectangle, just kind of eyeball it. Uh, maybe right there, grab my selection tool and bring this in here. Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna open my, or hit my direct selection and as you can see, it's got these little rounded pieces right here. And I am going to click and drag them. Now, as I do that, you can see that it's moving all of them. If I just wanted to select one of the corners and only move one, I just have to click it, click on it. And now you can see that it has the little rounded cursor and it has a little circle on it. And that means that it's just gonna, it's just gonna edit that one corner. So, but that's not what I wanna do. So what I wanna do is do all of them. So I'm gonna just select one and round it all the way through. And I kinda like that. Okay, now I'm gonna change this back to, or swap it from a fill to a stroke so you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna select both of them and I'm gonna go back to my pathfinder and hit minus front because I know that this right here is in the front and so I'm gonna knock that hole out of there for my cord. And then we're gonna go ahead and swap it from a fill to a stroke. And let's draw an artboard around it. Looks a little bit different from the one I made earlier but kinda like this one better. Uh, and there you go. That is a super easy and basic cloud macrame, which you can um, add a name to, add a quote, whatever you'd like to do. And if you're interested in learning more about how to use Illustrator for making laser files, I will drop the link below in the description uh, for my course, Project Academy, where you can uh, learn from start to finish how to make a laser file.